In this example, we have ourselves a couple of matrix definitions. We have matrix B and matrix D, and we would like to evaluate this expression, one-half B plus two D. Now, the one-half and the two that kind of play the role as these coefficients in front of these matrix variables uh, just means that we're going to end up using scalar multiplication on these matrices before we add them. But, of course, for matrix addition, we need to first make sure that these matrices are the same dimensions so we can indeed add them, or we can say the addition will be defined. So, for uh, matrix B here, it looks like we have three rows and two columns, so that guy will be a three by two. And good thing, because similarly, we have three rows and two columns for matrix D, so they are both three by two which means they will have corresponding entries, which means we can do this addition. All right, so let's go ahead and start by writing this out. So we're going to take one half of, or do a scalar multiplication for one half, and we'll have four, negative six, and eight, and negative 10, zero, and negative two. And those are those entries from matrix B. And to that, we're going to add a two, and we're going to put matrix D down here. So we have negative 2, 0, and 4, 3, 9, and negative 1. So that's exactly what that's going to look like. So it's half of matrix B and twice matrix D. So now let's go ahead and focus in on this scalar multiplication. So the one half out front really just means we're going to distribute this one half to every single entry. And so you can think of it as multiplying by a half or dividing by two. So let's go ahead and take each of these entries and let's just cut it in half. So a half of four, that's going to be two. And we'll just move right on down. Negative three, four, negative five, zero, and negative one. So now we have effectively taken half of all of these terms. So for the second scalar multiplication, it looks like we have matrix D with its six entries, and we're going to multiply each of those entries by two, essentially just doubling them. So we'll end up with negative four and zero and eight. Looks like six, 18, and negative two. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up by doing the addition. So when we add matrices, we're going to be adding corresponding entries. So first row, first column, first row, first column, we're going to add them up. So 2 plus a negative 4, that'll be negative 2. Negative 3 plus 0, that's easy, that'll be negative 3. And 4 plus 8, that guy will be 12. Let's go ahead to the second column. So negative 5 plus 6 will be 1, 0 plus 18, and finally negative 1 plus a negative 2. So here then will be this three by two matrix, which will be the solution when we evaluate this expression given our matrix definition, so matrix B and matrix D. And here once again is that answer.